So smiling Sam here today with another lesson for you. Um, we've been looking at these chords and numbering the chords rather than using the letters. Um, and what I want to do today is show you uh, two inversions of the uh, C major 7 and the F major 7 and the way we're going to play them uh, because it's the same numbers on the scale so for the C major 7 uh, last time we looked at that it was the 1, the 3, the 5 and the 7th uh, tone uh, of whichever scale we're playing in so in the C it's C, E, G and B but it's 1, 3, 5, 7 now to play that C major 7 we can do it like that but the way I want to show you to do it is inverting it so in other words we're going to play the 5 at the bottom then we're going to play the 7th then the 1 and then the 3 to get the idea so it's the same notes it's still the 1, 3, 5 and 7 but we're playing it in the inversion I'm showing you there so when we say a chord inversion it's just altering uh, the order in which the notes appear going up the scale so the idea is the reason we're doing that is because we're going to play the C7 which is that way and then we're also going to change that to the F7 and the F7 is exactly the same notes, the 1, 3, 5 and 7 of the F scale. So to get that, we just play A, C, E, F in that order. Get the idea? And notice what fingers I'm using. It's, it's not technically right because I cheat a bit. Look, I put the thumb over the two notes. So what we've got is the C7, like that. And then to get to the F7, all we have to do is lift the fingers, move the little finger up to the A and the thumb over the E and the F in the left hand, of course, if that seems comfortable to you. So all I want you to do today really is just practice that if you want to follow on. And then we're going to start improvising over these, uh, these little chord progressions that I'm showing you. So there's the C7 in the inversion I'm showing you. And then the F7 is just a matter of keeping the C and the E, but we're just sliding the thumb over the two notes and we're just lifting the finger off the G onto the A and lifting the middle finger off the B. Get the idea? So if you practice that, I think that's enough for today, just for you to get to, used to doing that with your left hand. C7, C major 7 rather, should I say, F major 7. C major 7, F major 7. And what we'll do next time, we'll come back. Um, some of you may, like me, I've got a, a Clavinova CPV307. Um, and so you've got um, your drums and automatic accompaniment and different things. So I'm going to use these blocks chords now for any people that have got these because next time I'll show you we can we can put automatic um, accompaniment and get a full orchestra sound just by doing this of course if you've got the traditional uh, acoustic piano then we can't do that and we're going to have to look at playing these chords in in other patterns uh, just so that um, so that other people can also play on, on a traditional acoustic piano. But for now, I'm just trying to show people simple ways to make music and uh, using all the available facilities on whatever ever instrument you've got. OK, so just to recap, we've got the C major 7, those notes there, and we've got the F major 7, those notes there. So it's a 1, 3, 5 and 7 of each scale. And we're just getting used to changing from one to the other until it comes natural because then we can start playing little tunes and we're going to add further chords as well but I just wanted to show you those two for today and how we're going to do that okay that's smiling so if you've got any questions please ask me if there's anything I'm not showing you or whatever and you'd like it uh, demonstrated on a little video then please let me know because if you don't let me know these things I, I'm not always going to put on what people want um, and also uh, if you want to give me a like and you, you're liking what you're learning or a subscribe I'd really appreciate that so uh, this is Smiling Sam uh, signing off for today and I'll catch you next time